Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Jesus Loving Mama. This is Sheena, and today I'm going to be taking a look inside Reading 2. I have the kit here that you get. Um, you get lots of stuff in this kit. So let me just show you what you get. You get four books for the student. Reading 2A, 2B, 2C, and 2D. Okay, so you're going to get all those student books, and then they're going to get a work text, so with all their work papers in there, and then you'll get the answer key for your work text, and then you have two teacher's editions. Okay, and then you also get two BJU book links, the lesson and the student book. Okay, so let's take a look inside the reading books so you can get an idea of what they're going to look like. So colorful. We've gone through this first one and we really enjoyed it. Okay, here's the second one. You can see the stories, they get longer, more words. They mix it up between true stories and fiction stories. And each book has a theme. This one is Memories to Keep. You can see they just add more words as you go on in each book. There's more words. I think they even get a little bit smaller too. And here's the fourth one. Its theme is Precious Treasures. But so far my daughter has loved every story in here. So let's look inside there. And here's their work text. And we've already started it, so I'm, we're on lesson 58 here. So. You can see they have the different colors. So the red's the second book, the green's the third book, and then this purpley pink color is the fourth book. And the first one was the blue, bluish purple. But we've been through that one. So here's an idea of what the work papers look like. The one from the first book are the same idea, they do the same things. Just fill in the blank. And then they usually, they usually have the story on one side, story review, and then they usually have phonics review on the other side. Write two words that make up the contraction. So yeah, you have your phonics back here. Okay. It's just a correction that I print off and put in there. This is lesson 106 here. It looks like they got to write a word. So they got to do have vocabulary for each lesson, as I'll show you in the teacher's edition. These are nice and colorful. There really isn't a lot of writing. That's pretty much long for what they usually do. Maybe it's just fill in the bubble, fill in a short little word. Because as they, you get progressed through it, you get to have to write a little bit more. Yeah, so by the end, it says write a sentence to tell about what is happening. And at the beginning, they tell you what was happening, and then they just draw lines to what happened. Or they have to write it in order. This happened one, two, three. And there are the numbers. Okay, and then here's the answer key. I just put a paper clip where we are. It has all the answers in red. So I can show you the first book. These were the worksheets we did. See, they just fill in bubbles. 
Not a lot of writing at the beginning. Circle stuff. Here's where they do the one, two. What goes in order? So, let's look inside there. There's a teacher's edition part one. I'm just going to show you the first one because the second book, it's the same thing. It just has it for books three and four. As you can see, it's got the green and then the purpley pink color. So that's books three and four, teacher's guide. And then this is for the first and second book. Okay, so here's the table of contents. And the lesson plans down here. And they have the lesson plan overview in here so you can kind of see um, what the story is going to be, how many days you're going to be on it, how many lessons each story takes, like the first one here. That's two days, two lessons. Um, the pages you'll need, the work text pages, and then here's the vocabulary you'll be learning. And then they also tell you your Bible truths that you're going to be learning that day in that lesson. Respect your parents, control your emotions, love one another. And then the phonics skill right here is the short vowels. And then here's the lesson objectives. So they just go through along for each story and they tell you all that. And then the new book changes color. Okay, so let's take a look at a lesson here. Over here you have your phonics lesson. Um, we don't do the phonics lessons in the first book we didn't. We're kind of starting to add them in a little bit now, but um, she already knows her phonics, so it would just be... Sometimes I throw it in there for a review, but the Mrs. Long and Mr. Short and all that, that just confuses me. I bought this program for um, comprehension. So if you're looking for a phonics program, I don't know that I would go with this one um, to learn to read. But as a comprehension program, it's amazing. Um, she's really learning how to comprehend and there's really good questions and but she can just do the little worksheet on the back. She doesn't need to know all those little characters to be able to understand what they want her to do. Because they just write a VV or VC or different things like that. So and then it gives you your objectives and your materials that you're going to need for that lesson. And then right here is um, service words. So these are like sight words right here. And then this is your vocabulary. Um, they either have new and review or just new words. And then they have a handout that comes on this CD that shows the vocabulary with these sentences that the student can look at. And I um, just put the CD on our iPad and then I pull it up and it shows all the vocabulary sentences and she can read along. These are the vocabulary words that are underlined. And it's going to tell you what your reading focus is. So when you turn the page, this is what the student book looks like. They have these pages. They don't have the underlining. Their vocabulary words aren't underlined, just the teacher's edition. And then right here, um, before they read, you read this. Read the page silently to find out what Seth needs to do. And they always say to read silently, but my daughter likes to read out loud as well. So sometimes she reads silently, sometimes she reads it out loud. And then you just answer the questions and it tells you right here if they're literal, interpretive, critical. And then the answers are in pink. This was nice. They start off reading like one page at a time as you progress. They have them read like a couple pages. And then you ask the questions. And then they you'd have a little after reading review. And then if you want, you can go over the vocabulary again. And then you do the work text pages. And then there's the next lesson. So they all just... 
Sometimes the vocabulary is in paragraph form. So I love how they relate the stories to them and how they should act as well based on how the characters were acting. How do they apply it to their life? And so it's been really fun and gets them thinking about what they're reading. So let's go back here further. Let's see some more. They have book activity days. They have assessment days. So they usually spend a couple days reading the stories and then the third day sometimes they have you reread it and then do an activity. This one was about rhythm, just a little poem. And then after the back of each student book, there's um, a glossary, and you have it as well in your student in your teacher book back here. And you get this CD for the teachers. I have the instructional aids and the visuals, and the visuals I just put on the iPad, like I said, and then these are the, um, the instructional aids that I printed off. And so you can see I have. These are for phonics. Started adding in a little bit of phonics now. And so she just goes through and does the worksheet. So just, these are for your phonics lessons. And I just printed them off and put them in this folder. So I have them for her. To do some days I make her do them sometimes I don't depending on if I know she knows them or not okay then you get these assessments these are the answers and then what they're called is reading skill check here and so every once in a while they throw one of those in there and it's outlined in the lesson overview and here you'll see them in here reading skill check too so So when they just read the story and then they have to answer questions just to make sure they're comprehending what they're reading. Okay, and then you get these book links. Um, the pulling together one is the one you do first and then you do the treasure of Pelican Cove. And I just throw these in um, when I feel like we are ready to do one. Usually around Christmas time, November time, and then again around spring time, spring break time. So this one has pictures and they're just chapter books, but the words are nice and big. So, and they're at their level, I think. So I'm excited to do those ones. Here's a look inside the the lesson page. So you can see they put pictures on different activities you're going to be doing. So this one has 15 lessons. So this is what you need to have ready and prepare before you do the lesson. And then it just tells you right here what to do. And they just read a few pages and then you ask some questions. And then they always have scriptural application, which is really nice. I love it how they relate it to the Bible. So you'll be reading Ephesians there. And then you um, do these journey into story elements. This one looks like it's characterization. So you're going to do a character chart. So you would go back here. And you would find it. And you would copy it and then they will have it to do. So all the forms you need, all the pages are back here for you to copy. And then more pictures of more activities. And even on the back, 
Looks like you can make some wreaths. They tie them into the other subjects. So this one would be tied into um, language and do some writing there. Reading skills. Um, this one's just journey into scripture. Writing. Um, here's one they do in math. They usually have like a science one. This one's arts and crafts. Heritage studies. So different, different subjects. So that's that one. Here's Pelican Cove. So it doesn't have as many pictures. I mean the words get a little smaller. Let's see, this one's 104 pages. And this one was 135 pages. So, so these words are bigger. Here's the descriptions of the stories in case you wanted to read those so you know what they're about. Okay, and then this is inside here. So arts and crafts. This one has 11 lessons. You have your objectives, what you need to gather, what you need to prepare. And then the same thing, introduce a story, work on some vocabulary. And then they read some pages and you ask them some questions. And then this one's journey into vocabulary, into ocean, shore life. And you don't have to do all these. You can pick which ones you want to do. It's nice to have the options. That's when you learn about hurricanes. See, here's a science one. Another science, and then an art, and then here's the worksheets in the back that you can copy. Okay, so that's a look inside um, reading two. Everything you get with it. You get two teacher books. You get assessments. Um, you get the CD that you can print off instructional aids um, and visuals if you want. Um, you get the work text and work text answer. And then the student gets the four books. So lots of stuff you get here if you have any questions let me know um, i'll put a link down below for you thank you for watching bye